the earth is composed 70% of oceans. And look at the state of Maine. We have over 4,000 miles of coastline. A great many of our industries, our resources are marine related. Our identity is deeply linked to the coast and the ocean. Uh, we are people who love to be out on the water, whether it's sailing or catching fish uh, or just exploring uh, new places. The ocean is really important to our cultural identity. Our coastal economy in the state of Maine is huge. We try to find an optimum level of a catch so that uh, both fishery population and uh, uh, fishery industry uh, can benefit from the fisheries. And that lobster model changed the dynamics in lobster management within the Gulf of Maine. These buoys that we designed are out there 24-7. They're sending data back to the public and to all scientists every hour. Uh, every fisherman I know uses it every day to see what the real conditions are then and look at the forecast for what they're going to be the nation's largest fishery. It's Maine's largest export. So now over 80% of our value comes from one species. That's a dangerous place to be. We try to keep our finger on the pulse of those babies entering the population. This is a window into problems that are global in scope. When the eyes appear, I know that there's actually an embryo inside here. If we can reduce embryo mortality, then all of a sudden that increases their bottom line and that's a really important factor for them. We have new vaccines that are going into fish for sea lice. If we can have a major breakthrough there, then we have a mechanism to control the most damaging disease in, in salmon aquaculture today. Red tides are one of the biggest public health concerns we have in the Gulf of Maine regions. We need to know when to expect these events to occur. We need to know where on the coast to be looking for it first. When you look at the demand for seafood and you couple that with Maine's enormous coastline, it's a natural fit. But there's a lot of opportunity for growth within the industry and the, to the degree that the university can help. Uh, we're there and working with industry partners. In terms of the tidal power development, knowing what is the risk to different fish populations is what we're trying to get at. They've been able to really develop technologies, methodologies to get to some of the key answers around how marine life interacts with our power systems. And marine policy has a special role to play in that in terms of being able to translate all of the work that biophysical scientists are doing to solutions on the ground so people can understand it and say, oh yeah, that makes sense. Everything is all connected together. The deep ocean is connected to the shallow water, the shallow water is connected to the land, the land is connected to the deep ocean. We have to study all of these processes uh, to begin to understand how the world really functions. We've seen an undersea revolution on the coast of Maine. Marine science has never been more important in the Gulf of Maine region. We have a number of faculty focused on our backyard, Gulf of Maine, but we understand that the problems in the ocean is global. This close link between human well-being and ocean health is really important to understand. Our mission is to educate students in the marine sciences with the goal of promoting sustainability of the oceans.